<laughs> this is a nice day today. All right, TJ, it's video time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh. Hey, Casey. Oh, okay, let's start. All right. Hey, guys, Ken Casey here. TJ is your co-host. And welcome to a surprisingly quick, quick video after our last one. Don't forget it. And this video is obviously kind of a sequel to one we did a while back. The Top 35 Battle Simulator Trainers Review. Yeah, so it's recently been up. The recent Battle, tra tra battle Simulator Training Rank has been updated and it's been boosted from 25 to 35. So hopefully we don't go higher than this because otherwise it's just going to be getting silly. Yeah, <laughs> before you know it. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, pretty much it's the same exact thing as last time. We're going to be going over every single trainer in order of 35 all the way up to number 1. You can probably guess who that is. Anyways, we're, we're going to be going in order, but we're also going to be doing something a bit different th this, this time. We'll be separating them into tier lists, each re representative into tier lists. Yeah, so, so we're going to have three tiers, B, A, and S. We will announce when each tier starts and end up, and so, so it's a bit, um, more surprising. Agreed. So, yeah, that's enough with this quick intro. Um, anyways, let's get on right with this video. It's going to be a long one. No doubt about that. So, moving, so let's get right into it. Moving to number 35, we have one of TJ's parents, Sandy. Yep, my mom made the cut. Yep, and you will see a few more on that on this list, but we're not going to spoil when. So yeah, TJ, <laughs> do you want to go a bit more in depth? Gladly. Her battle style focuses more on elegance and beauty, sort of like a contest. Her partner Pokemon is a Milotic. She still doesn't have any points, but her battle record is not bad, sitting with a record of 5 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. Not a bad record. Yeah, even though she has had a bit more losses, and by that I mean 1, she is still very, very strong, notably coming in top 16 in Tournament 13. Might have been higher if it wasn't for one guy, but we won't talk about it. Yeah, because he's nowhere on this list. Because that's just not fair. Yeah, so we will have to see where Sandy is on on the rankings list next year, because these are bound to um change again as last time. Exactly. So, anyways, moving on to number 34, we have Master Brendan. A trainer only more recently, but he's been pretty inactive as of late. He would have been a little bit higher if he was still more active, but... That's not, simply not the case. Yeah, he does have two points to his name, which isn't that bad for a trainer that it is relatively new. And actually, his win record is actually flopped with um, Sandy, having six wins and five losses. Still also only having one draw, and his partner Pokemon being delayed. Expect more of those later on. Yeah, because everyone loves to copy somebody. <laughs> we will get to, to this guy later. Yes. Moving on to number 33, we have another new trainer. His name is Kernel. Yes, Kernel. Yeah, he's um a very interesting trainer, would you say? Yes, I would. He has a battle style pretty much the opposite of someone else later on on the list. He currently has six points to his name, but his battle record might be confusing to some. He has one win, three losses, and three draws. Yeah, so not that, that will probably change soon because hey, the tournament's coming up. Yeah, and definitely bracket will definitely be interesting considering we're probably gonna have some epic battles in second round and some new trainers making it pretty far. Agreed. Although we can say though, his partner Pokemon is a Sceptile. Seriously though, it seems you think Pokemon like Charizard would be popular amongst the ranked trainers? No, it's tr Pokemon like Subtile and Galate. Because people don't re really want want to copy somebody else. Yeah, we'll get to him much later. Yeah, probably about a half an hour from now. Anyways, moving on swiftly to number 32, um, we have Dom. He's surprising. He's actually built up quite a decent amount. 
He currently has 19 points with, with a battle record of 6 wins, 2 losses, and 1 draw with his partner Dragonite. Yeah, overall he has, he's, he's very, he's very good for, for a, um, beginning trainer. But he still hasn't faced many big names yet, so we'll see how he performs in the tournament. Yeah, because obviously this tournament's gonna dictate a lot of different things in terms of where people place and how many people get points. Exactly. Moving on to number 31, we have Mario and Sonic Fan. Another new addition. Mm hmm. His gameplay is focused, well, speed. It's. It's in the name. Yeah, having a total of six points, and his battle record could be a bit better, but it's not that bad. Two wins two and four losses. That's not a bad record to start. And trust me, I didn't have a good record when I started, but it picked up over time. Yeah, once people get more better and start picking up wins, they will be getting a lot more points. But yeah. So yeah, we'll have to see how Mario and Sonic Fan does in this tournament, since I believe this is their first one. Yes, it is his first tournament with his partner, Greninja. Yes. So now, moving on to number 30, this may surprise a couple of you if you saw last list. We have J Julius. Yes, even though Julius was the strongest of my friends, not too in the, in the previous rankings list, due to his inactivity, he's gone down quite substantially. He's still strong, though. He doesn't have any, still doesn't have any points yet, but with a battle record of eight wins and seven losses, and with his partner Tyranitar, he's still a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, and I and he will have to see how good he does in in this tournament, since he mainly only participates in tournaments. Agree. Moving on to number 29, we have Depew, an, an older trainer who I think was around during the first generation, either, either the first or in second generation of Lucario's production. Yeah, so he's done decently well in the past. What do you think his biggest achievement would have been in terms of tournament-wise? Uh, I think the best he's done is top 8 in a, in a tournament of 16 trainers. Okay. So yeah, so yeah. We'll have to see how good he does in this tournament as well, and he doesn't have any points, and his battle record leaves something to be desired. With nine, nine wins in 15 losses, that's not very good. Especially He's by far the worst of the trip of the worst battle record in the rankings. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he isn't weak. He is still strong. No doubt about that. Yes, and so let's get a move on to number 28. Moving on to number 28 here, we have RSG. Now, most people think, wait, wasn't he, like, almost in the top 15 last time? How did he drop so far? It's called inactivity. Correct. So far, he still only has 4 points and a battle record of 8. 18 wins, 22 losses, and 2 draws. Yeah, and I would normally say we, we will see how good he does in this tournament, but he's one of the few trainers that isn't participating in this one. Because of it, again, he didn't sign up. Yeah, same like another person that we will talk about a while later onto this list. Yeah. Moving on to number 27, we have Juwan. Yes, he currently has a battle. He currently has an interesting battle style with a record. He only has one point right now, but he has a record of two wins, four losses, and one draw. Not that bad. Not a bad record at all. Anyway, let's move on to number twenty-six, Vmox. Yeah, Vmox used to be in the top fifteen or very close to. He was originally number seventeen in the previous list. He still has no points. But he has a battle record of 6 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. Yeah, That's and still strong. Yeah, and we will have to see how he does in this tournament, since, yeah, I don't believe the VMOX was a troll. Yeah, he's already changed his team to his original team. We're expecting his, par his partner Garchomp will be around pretty soon. Yeah, so don't worry. Anyway, so don't worry. VMOX. Now then, moving on to number 25, and as of now, the strongest of the beats here, we have... So yes, yeah, so that is number 25, let's get a move on to number 24. Hey Casey, I got a weird announcement from our casting crew, they said the video cut out. Um, I don't think it did, I clearly said... 
So yeah, anyways, let's just move on to number tw 24. Alright then. Starting from number 24, and we begin the A tier. Yep, and, and this is probably somebody you guys know as well, being a sister of one of the most top tier trainers here. Scout. Ah yes, my younger sister. And even, and even then, this might surprise some of you, she's still only the third strongest of my friend group. Yeah, because a lot of them made the list this time. Yeah, which surprised even me. Yeah, and... But who am I getting? I'm the one who helped compose this list! Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, Scout has a very cool battle style as well. She focuses more on a mix of contests and full-on battle, hard, hard battle. That's what happens when, when my, when, when she's the daughter of my mom, and I'm the older brother. Yeah, even though she only has one point, she still has a very good, she still has a good battle worker of nine wins, Six losses and one draw. And, and even so, her partner is a what, more unorthodox partner, but she uses it to full effect. How about Leganium? Yeah, that's not a partner you see every day. More like at all, because we are not masochists. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Scout is very powerful, and I wouldn't be surprised if she does crack the, the um, top 20 by next year. Who knows, she might. Alright, moving on to number 23, we have Magi. Yes, who is also a, a, a fairly recent trainer and has been doing pretty well for, for, for himself. He finished in top 16 last time, and he currently has 10 points to his name with a battle record of 6 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. Even though that is a losing record, that, that doesn't mean that he isn't powerful. We'll have to see how he does in this tournament. Moving on to number 22, we have Argument Bitsu. Oh, yeah. A, a pretty of rising up and then falling down. Oh, yeah. Because last ranking, he almost beat me out for my number 12 spot, was it? Uh-huh. The only reason but I... Due to inactivity, he is dropped like a rock. Yeah, he used to be one of the most powerful trainers in, in the... the in the battle simulator, or of the A tier, I should say. But due to challenging Peter constantly and, well, inactivity, he's dropped substantially. His Peter, Carter, Gardevoir are still powerful. Yeah, with but a ten point with ten points to his name and with a and with a record of fifteen wins and ten losses. Yeah, and also that 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 loss against Summit in 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 tournament thirteen didn't help. Who didn't even make the DM rankings? Inactivity. Yeah. But yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what inactivity does. If you want to be powerful in the battle simulator, don't go inactive. Just don't go. Just don't go ghost for like a month. That could damage you pretty quickly. Yeah. Speaking of, I do need to register more battles. Anyways, moving on to number twenty-one. This is also someone you shall recognize. The second most strongest friend in TJ's um It's Shepard. Yep, it's Shepard and sorry for for that transmission error. It wouldn't be a video without one. Correct. Anyway. Back on Shepard. Shepard is setting at number twenty one. He and his partner Lobany have not budged an inch since last night, but it, he is still powerful. He currently doesn't have any points, but that might change sooner or later, with a record of nine wins and six losses. Yep, he's still very powerful. And now, we crack into the top 20. Starting off, we have Andre. Who? He sure come away. Yeah, he has moved up from number 25 to number 20, so good on him. He currently has 17 points to his name, with a battle record of 8 wins, 5 losses, and 5 draws. Yeah, he, yeah he's been around for a while now, and, and is still a pretty good trainer. We will have to see how he does in this most recent tournament. He and his partner Lucario might make some noise. Yeah, moving on to the number 19 spot, we have someone who is interesting. We have Sam the Collector. He was left out of the last rankings, but we did not make that mistake again. Yeah, and he is very powerful. He and his partner Gardevoir. 
he has six points in his game with a record of six wins and two losses. His best tournament finish, or aka his only tournament appearance, was a top 16 placing in tournament nine. Would have been farther, but Anthony stopped him in his tracks. Yeah, so obviously it's been six tournaments since he's appeared, so he's a pretty wide wild card go going in. Let's see what kind of noise he makes in this tournament. Yeah, and considering where where he where he, in the quadrant he plays, which is probably the safest one of the entire tournament. He, along with somebody else you'll see later on, is pretty safe to make top eight. Yep, because that bracket is rigged. I'm just joking, no. <laughs> the bracket is not rigged. Moving on to number 18, we have Azuna. The last of the trainers who have a below 500 record. But once again, this is one of the cast members that is able to join the rankings, so, of course, it was what she was going to be on here. Yeah, so Azuna has a has an average battle record to win... Two wins, five losses, and three draws. Six points to her name. Yeah, so yeah, overall she has a decent ba ba battle style. But her and her partner Gardevoir are definitely not to be trifling with. Yeah, so yeah, even though she does have a mixed battle record, she is still pretty good, doing decent in tournament 13. And I'm actually surprised that nor Kirito nor Azuna are actually in this. And they paid, he did that, Michelangelo probably did it to pave the way for four other cast members. Which, which if, if you saw the previous video, you all know who. Yep, that's going to be very interesting to see. But anyways, moving on to number 17, we have someone who, who is very inactive and was the other trainer I was referring to that isn't participating in Tournament 15. The one, the only, Emerald. He's a strong trainer with his partner, Septile, but he hasn't been around in a while. He's still got his skills, though. He still only has three points to his name, with a battle record of 12 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. Yeah, wasn't he in, like, top five or top... Yeah, was he in top five or am I thinking of somebody else? He, in the very original trainer rankings list, the top 18, he was originally number five, but he just kept moving back and back due to inactivity. Yeah, if he was still active, he probably would have been either number four or maybe even three. If he was still going to this day, but I'm not too sure about that due to, well, the top five nowadays being so daggum powerful. Yeah, yeah, and even the uh, top ten is all is super powerful in their own ways. No doubt about that. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, that's enough talking about Emerald. Moving on to number 16, we have CJ. No, it's not me, it's CJ. I said CJ, not TJ. They they have very close names, but not. You're you're lady you're you're later on, on the OS. Yeah, yeah, I know. CJ and his partner Tyrantrum are all are, is very powerful. Okay, I lied when I said Ozuna was the last one with a below 500 record. CJ is. He has 14 points to his name, with a battle record of 13 wins, 14 losses, and 3 draws. Now, he would have his record above 500 if he wasn't constantly challenging people that are stronger than him. Yeah, but that may change if he does well in, in this tournament. Which is very likely. Yeah, so, yeah, again, we'll have to see how he does in this tournament, just like we've been saying for a lot of these guys. And CJ, no doubt about that. Yeah, and CJ has normally been on the on the more higher end tier in terms of of the A tier in trainer rankings. But someone else would have been number fifteen, except someone else has taken that claim. Yep, coming literally out of nowhere, number fifteen is your boy Talon, the final member of my friend group and by far the strongest as of now. Yeah. Talon takes a number fifteen. Yeah. What Tournament 14 is best known for is the amount of upsets this guy pulled. That he was pulling the Cinderella story before anyone else was. Yeah, he took out big trainers in Tournament 14, and that is pretty much what caused him to be this high. Exactly. He currently only has one point to his name, and his, he and his partner go lurk. That's a Pokemon you don't see that often. With a, they, the two of them have a battle record of six wins, 
four losses and one draw. So not that bad of a record. P yeah, so he could easily make top 16 again if he pulls even more upsets. No doubt about that. Yeah, because didn't he make top 8 last time, actually? Yes, before he was the trainer who won the whole tournament. Yes, and, and yes, we all know how, how that ended. Anyways, so yeah, Talon is a very strong trainer. We will have to see how he does in next year's rankings. No doubt about that. Moving on. on to number 14, we have Alvin. Hasn't moved a bit since last time. Yep, he and his partner Blazik didn't have currently at 10 points in their name and a battle record of 15 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. Wait, I just realized, hasn't Albin been number 14 for the, for the past three rankings now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, he's the only trainer that has been in the same ranking three times in, in a row. <clears throat> Not really. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm, yeah, besides a few... Forgot about that. Anyways, yeah, one of the only few. Let me say it that way. Or at least but the only one in the A tier. More to say about him, right? Yeah, he does swap around his his Pokemon a lot. We'll have to see how he how he does in tournament 15. And yeah, yeah he has a really cool looking Battle Bond Blaziken, which is actually the one on 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 the thumbnail. The other one you'll find out later. And you can probably guess who, but I mean, <laughs> moving on to number 13, we have someone that has jumped up a lot, Kirby Fan. Kirby Fan 13, ironic, isn't it? I Oh yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> anyway, he currently has, he's the first of the trainers who actually have a higher rank than anyone else. He has an amateur trainer rank, he and his partner Gallade have 31 points to their name, 19? with a battle record of 19 wins, 10 losses, and 4 draws. By far his biggest achievement was coming, did he come third? I'm thinking he came third he in tournament 14. He came in third, yeah. Yeah, which is nothing to, yeah, which that is always pretty good. That's nothing to joke, that's nothing to sneeze on. Yeah, but anyways. So yeah, we'll have to see how he does, and I believe he could make top 16 once again. He definitely could. Moving on to number 12, we have our bud, MD Gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, MD Gold has definitely gone up since last time. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah, wasn't right he like now, number 13 last time? No, not 15, I think. I think he was 13. Yeah, 15. Yes. He and his partner Napoleon currently have 16 points to their name, with a battle record of 15 wins, 10 losses, and 2 draws. Yeah, so yeah, Gold is definitely moving up in the rankings. We'll have to see how he does in tournament 15 and in next year's rankings. Exactly. As of right now, Gold is currently sits atop the A tier. Yep, and now this is the gate where we enter the S tier and when we begin to go a lot more in depth on these trainers. The best of the best, the strongest that we have to, that this battle simulator has to offer. The let's S tier. Off, let's start off with number 11, Jaster. Who actually fell out of the top 10. Oh boy, where do we start with him? Yeah, he's definitely a very powerful trainer. And how does he still have no points? I just realized that. Anyways, moving on. He and his party to say UI currently have a battle record of 15 wins, 11 losses, and 3 draws. One of those draws came against Lord Arceus. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah, drawing against Lord Arceus. No doubt, that is, inc that is an incredibly good thing to claim. Yeah. Very few trainers can even claim they've beaten him, let yeah. alone tied. Yeah, so Beth definitely his biggest tournament achievement. I believe he came top four before. I Yeah. Yeah. No, his best biggest claim to fame, he was a finalist in tournament eleven. Oh yeah, it's kind of mm, yeah, I can't remember every single tournament finalist. But yeah, Jaxer was a tournament finalist in tournament eleven. But, even, but nowadays, he's 
dropped pretty substantially due to inactivity. Yeah, I mean, not that far. He is still in in the S tier, and he's still participating in the, in the in this tournament. Yeah, so we will definitely have to, have to see how he does this time around. Agreed. But now let's move on to the top ten. And this may surprise a few of you, and not surprise a lot of you. Moving up a total of about 13 places, I think. Coming well, in at the at number 10, the first one in our top 10, we have Jack Fossil. Oh man, he's gone up 12 spots. Last time he was number 22, now he's all the way up here. Oh, and there's one sole reason why that's the case. His, his Rex. avoided <laughs> at all costs. Well, until you gotta fight in the tournament, then you don't really have a choice. Yeah. But yeah, that is definitely one of the most powerfulest legendaries in the entire battle simulator. Nowadays, yeah. But right now, he and his partner Septile currently have a our amateur rank, but he has his own title, a fossil researcher. But he has 26 points to his name and a battle record of 15 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. Definitely one of his biggest achievements was coming in top four in tournament 14. In fact, that's the best he's placed of all, out of, of all time. Yeah, and we will have to see how good he does in Tournament 15. He may even make that it again. We will have to see. Exactly. Because, I mean, considering yeah, okay. what happened in Tournament 14, anything can happen. Yeah. Moving on to number 9, we have Game Master 25. Everyone knows this guy. Exactly. He's a strong trainer with his partner in Cinderella. He currently surprisingly has... Four points to his name? Yeah, but his yeah. battle record is still decent. But anyways, he has 15 wins, record. 13 losses, and 3 draws. Yep. He's still going strong, and he's participating in this tournament, so we'll see how he performs. Yeah, he, he will probably still be in top 10 as of last ranking. But yes, we will have to see how, how he places, since as I said, anything can happen. No doubt about that. Anyway, let's move on to number 8, Black Swordsman Kirito. And the last cast member we have on our list. Yep, he, cur he and his partner Gallade currently have 19 points to their names, with a battle record of 11 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. Yeah, Kirito has been known to be pretty powerful, coming in in a couple top 16 runs, a note I, yeah, in tournament, um, yeah. I don't know his exact accomplishments. Tournament 13. Yeah, Tournament 13, he, he came top 16, and he lost to MD Gold. But, um, yeah, but besides that, he's still very powerful and definitely worthy of the number 8 spot. Now then, let's move on to number 7. Oh yeah, this is a very interesting one. It's you. Yes, I know that. Coming out at number 7, we have me. Hooray. Casey here currently has the amateur trainer rank with 49 points to his name and a battle record of 26 wins, 17 losses, and 5 draws. Yeah, um, so yeah, my biggest accomplishment by far is definitely coming in second in Tournament 14, only losing to Anthony and his Pikachu Mewtwo. Yep. Yeah, yeah, those... Right. Yeah, those two aren't fun to, to a handle, and considering how Bracket is looking like, I'm probably going to have a run back of that second round. Oh, good luck with that. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to number six, Alexander. Yeah, Alexander. Yeah, Alexander is also in the same spot as last time. He has a total of 56 points, four points away from battle ability. He, right. he has 33 wins, 18 losses, and 7 draws. He just took a L to this Thursday to Jalal Michael, but what do you expect? It's Jalal? Yeah. But he's still powerful with his partner Sizzler, and works. I'm expecting them to make a solid run for the turn for the champ for the championship tourney this time. Mm -hmm. around. He may even make finals. Well, we're, I'm not calling anything, considering anything can happen. Exactly. Now then, before we move on to the top five, these five are kind of in a league of their own right now. 
Yeah. You know how most Pokemon teams have an Elite Four and Champion? Well, meet the Lucario Productions Battle Simulator Elite Four. Yep, and then the number one is our champion, hypothetically, in this. Yeah. But so let's the number five. We have Kevin. Kevin. Oh my goodness, this guy is powerful. Yes, mostly known for his golden ring, his golden ring Rayquaza. He and his partner Greninja can easily make waves. They only have six points to their names, but don't judge that. He has a battle record of 26 wins and nine losses. Oh, that battle record. Here's a tip, though. Four out of the five trainers in this top five are first generation trainers. They've been here since near the beginning of the battle simulator. Mm hmm So that means experience for days. Yeah, but yeah, definitely Kevin has been very powerful. And I believe he did, he was, he did, he was, he was either a finalist or a tournament winner. He's a tournament winner. Yep, as I thought. These all, everyone in the top five have won at least one tournament. Mm hmm So yeah, Kevin is obviously very powerful. And he was originally number four, but recent events have changed things. Moving on to number four, the guy we talked about earlier, the overpowered Pikachu, we have Anthony. Anthony is incredibly powerful with his partner Pikachu. He currently has the amateur trainer rank, 43 points to his name, and a battle record of 28 wins, 11 losses, and 1 draw. And obviously his biggest accomplishment is definitely being his win in Tournament 14. His Tournament 14 Championship, he's now the defending champ going into the next tourney. Yeah, and see we... It, he can repeat. Yeah, but, yeah, we'll see how he does. But anyways, we have our top three. And it... Yeah, and it... The level of points and wins just could go up to insanity. Yep, let's just start with pretty obvious. Moving on to number three, 64 points, who made finals back to back, Steve. He and his partner Septile's greatest accomplishment is easily their tournament 12, their tournament 12 win, and their tournament 13 finals. And almost beat Steven, but I mean it's Steven, so what do you expect? And he, Steven did not have Kira for this, so, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Steve, all oh, this battle record is so good. 44 wins, 20 losses, and 6 draws. And since he has 64 points, he has the, he has a, he is pro ranked. Which one, means he has battle ability. One of, he used four trainers in the battle simulator tourney this year, this time, who has battle ability. Yes, but as things go on, that probably will change. But even so, being one of the first Battle Simulator tra trainers to have battle ability, that's pretty good. And even scarier, it's his Gliscor who's battle ability. Yeah, that Gliscor, we don't know how powerful it is. Well, I do, because I just fought it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but we don't know how it got that powerful, though. Yeah. It anyway, well, let's move on. To number two in the hypothetical leader of of the Battle Simulator Elite Four. Yeah, this is probably obvious to everyone. This guy needs no introduction. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Anyway, me and my partner Galate are still going strong with our pro rank and a total of 87 points. The That's most. The most out of anyone in the Battle Simulator as of now. Yeah. Um. He is pro rank has. Oh lord, this battle record. 63 wins, 23 losses, and 10 draws. That is, that loss record may be high, but I have almost triple the amount of wins. Yeah, and, and, um, yeah, and, yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely biggest accomplishment is winning two tournaments. Tournament 7 and Tournament 10, and I'm looking to win this one. Yeah, we will have to see about that, though, because anything can happen. Agree. I mean, you but are now let's the fun to our hypothetical champion, and if we were to make a separate tier list, Peter would. This guy would be all by himself. Yep. I mean, it's no. It's obvious. It's Peter. This guy. We we don't even need to um, hype it up. It's literally Peter. 
with the title of Pokemon Master and 58 points to his name, he has the most wins out of anyone in the Battle Simulator. Yeah. 72 wins, 16 losses, and 5 draws. Yeah, he is insane, especially when he got super powered, and um, yeah, really no one has won against him ever since. It's been a while since anyone's actually beaten him. Okay, not really, because the only times he's really lost are two members of the, the rest of the big three, that being Michelangelo and Steven Michael. With some exceptions here and there. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's the last of the top 35. Yeah, that's... Oh, I really enjoyed this list. Yeah, that is it. Overall, the rankings have definitely changed a lot since last year. And we're expecting that to change a lot again next year. Who knows? Maybe so, maybe not. But for now, just know that the tournament recap is on the way. And once it begins, there's no going back. Yep, it's gonna be go time. But anyways, that is it for this vi video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This video was really fun to, was really fun to um, make. Alright then. So yeah, I have... I have been Casey, and the, along with TJ, and we will see you guys next week for, for Tournament Recap.